Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more build your own lightsaber videos. You guys requested it. YouTube rolled out a new community feature. So the first thing I did is I went and I put out a poll, said what kind of video do you guys want to see next? Micro machines, hot wheels, action figures, lightsaber video, and of course, lightsaber video one out. So I'm going to give you guys what you want this time around. We're doing a lightsaber video today, of course, you can tell by the thumbnail what we're looking at. We're going to be making Savage Opress by popular demand. Now, there were a couple of you who've been asking this. Uh, I searched my comments and I found, I think the oldest one was about a month ago from James Tucker II or James Tucker II. Uh, also, Gamer Knight Productions mentioned it. Jair Saldivar has asked a couple times. Skylander Lord and most recently, Jedi Leader 01. Thank you guys so much for suggesting this. There's your shout right there. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, I think you guys are probably part of the Sad Baby Squad. If you don't know what the Sad Baby Squad is, that is subscribers who have tickled or used the force on that little bell button over there. So they get notifications every time I drop a brand new video. Enough about Sad Baby Squad. Let's get on to the lightsabers. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you already know all about the Build Your Own Lightsaber. But if you're brand new around here, this part is for you. Build Your Own Lightsaber. These are something you can get in Disneyland or you can buy the old uh, build your own ultimate lightsaber kit or Clone Wars lightsaber kit they're a little pricey but you can find them on eBay but if you happen to go to a Disney park like Disney World Disneyland in Anaheim Disneyland Paris has a limited selection supposedly and I believe Hong Kong Disneyland also has a build your own lightsaber station these little stations are pretty cool because you're set up with a bunch of different pieces and they let you just piece by piece customize your own lightsaber so they have you start off choosing an emitter and there's a bunch of different emitters all from other different jedi's lightsabers and the cool part is you can make either your own custom lightsaber or you can try to do a replica like i got kylo ren right here that was all done with build your own lightsaber pieces or you can swap out stuff so you start off with an emitter you choose which emitter you want then you pick a blade color they got a couple different options here green blue red purple all that good stuff and then you pick a hilt and you screw them all together and then you move on to customizing using different rings sleeves button covers all kinds of cool little different stuff again they're all from other jedi's lightsabers and the last thing you're going to do is you're going to choose an end cap and you get to make different crazy combinations like look at this one it's got a green blade but with blue cross guards it's got a little bit of everything going on and it, it's a cool looking lightsaber i actually do really like this lightsaber after my last lightsaber video, I decided to just kind of put all the pieces that were on my table. Uh, just start making random combinations. So, real quick, I just want to show some to you. Uh, this one's more all dark, and I did it with a purple lightsaber. So just take a look at that. There's a lot of, like, neat things. You got Kobe, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi's little bottom piece, Kobe Kenobi, as I like to call him. Uh, we've got Yoda's button cover, little power ring right there, nice button cover, little gold piece, and then Darth Vader's emitter. There's so many cool combinations you can do with these things. And I might have to like make a new video each month with a different one. Look at that. Green with cross guards. Mostly gray. Again, we're using old Kenobi or Okanobi, whatever I just called him. Obi-Wan's little end cap there. I got two rings and I kind of oriented them opposite so they face each other. Kind of neat looking thing. And let's, again, let's show you one more before I like this combo. This is a cool combo. We have Count Dooku's end cap, Count Dooku's centerpiece. I've got a yellow ring that moves up and down, so it's got kind of a moving thing. But then I put Darth Maul's emitter and a green blade, so it's got kind of a different custom feel. This is the reason I really like these kinds of things. But the reason that we're all here, we all know it, I'll move that out of the way, is because you're here for Savage Opress's lightsaber, which I have just off to the side, and we're going to go over the pieces I use to make it. Just take a look at that. Now, there are a couple different ways of making this. This is not an official one that they have listed at the Build Your Own Lightsaber Stations. This is a custom one suggested by you guys. Sad Baby Squad fans, community, you guys are the best. You did this. This video is yours. So, there's different ways to make it. I'm actually going to take this apart because I'm using... It's a double lightsaber. You may have noticed there's two blades there. If you know much about Savage Opress... You know that much. So there are two, a couple different ways of doing this. I only really need one for right now. I'll leave one standing up. Uh, you start off with Count Dooku's emitter. In fact, let me just take this thing apart. We'll take this thing apart and we'll go piece by piece because I'm actually, instead of this black dark side splitter to do two lightsabers, I'm going to use the gray one so you guys can take a look and see how you feel about that. 
it's really your choice. I think both look okay. Um, none of them are going to be exactly accurate. But I think the gray or the black, each one is pretty darn close. But let's take the pieces off and I'll show you kind of how it's done. This is the actual, it's the older style of hilt. Not the one you can currently get at Disney Parks. This is one they had in the mid-2000s. They stopped doing this version in 2015. Got all my pieces. We're going to start off. Count Dooku's emitter right there with a cool little hook thing on the top. We're going to put that over our red blade. We've got our basic hilt. Now, this will work on any of the hilts, even the new ones for 2017. Though those ones don't make many different noises like these ones do because they have crystals. In fact, a little crystal chamber inside there you can kind of open up and remove different crystals to change the sound. I've already got a red one in there, so it's going to make the red noise. Very nice, very nice. Cool, so we've got that going. Next up, we're going to use, this is Darth Maul's button cover. There's a hole in it, so it's a button cover, and you can just slide that right on next. Um, what else we got? What else we got? We got our hook, we got Darth Maul. We're going to use Darth Vader's sleeve. Now, this one has a couple different sides to it. I'm going to use the side that's more open to cover the actual red button. So that slides right on. And then you're going to use an end cap, but this is the end cap that costs more. So if you are at Disney Parks, you have to pay more for this piece. You pay like 45 bucks or almost 50 bucks, but then you get to make another lightsaber. So I did the same thing twice. Oh, that might be oriented a little bit differently, but that's just to give it a little variation. So one end cap screws onto the bottom here. Oh, there we go. Almost. Very nice. Getting there one more turn. Looking good. And then the other one, I can do it there. We'll screw on the top here. And then there we have Savage Opress's lightsaber. And I can light both up. You can't see it well because all the studio lights in here. But this is a pretty, pretty awesome lightsaber. It looks good. It's huge. Look at that. The size of this thing is like, I can't even get it all in one shot because I got so much going on here, like always. But look at that. That is... And they do clash. They do make clashing noises. Very cool. I love this. This is really, really awesome. Try not to break anything here, but... There you go. Get a little spin action going. And there we have Savage Opress. It's like a better version than Darth Maul's. Or, if you want, like Darth Maul, you can split it and have two lightsabers. Very cool. I love it. Guys, let me know what you think. Do you think this is a pretty accurate representation of Savage Opress? Would you use the silver splitter or would you use the black? I want to know your thoughts. Leave them down in the comments below. If you like this toy and you like this video, please thumbs up the video. If you don't like it, feel free to thumb it down. But you got to tell me why. That's the deal we make. You're going to tell me why you thumbed it down if you're going to do it. So, I like having your feedback that way. Good or bad, it's all... It's all fair to me, as long as you tell me why. But I like making these kind of videos. If you guys have another suggestion for a lightsaber that I haven't done yet, leave it down in the comments below, too. Again, subscribe if you haven't already. One thing I haven't done, because these are Disney Park specific, I haven't mentioned anything about the Amazon links, but I have something special. We are just a few days away from The Last Jedi coming out, so I wanted to plug this book. This is They're not paying me to plug this book, but they are paying me if you use my Amazon link, which is listed in the uh, video description as well as the pinned comment. This is a book called Canto Bite, and it is like four or five short stories, I think it's four, uh, about Canto Bite and the crazy gambling planet. and just It's like extra supplemental information so that when you go see The Last Jedi next week, because we're a week away, but when you go see The Last Jedi you'll have like a little more info on the planet. So actually, once I'm done doing this video, I'm going to start reading this because I just got it. I'm really looking forward to it. I think you should get a copy so you can be fully informed. It, it helps. What these do, they really help build the world so you understand a little bit more about what's going on. So when you see The Last Jedi, you'll be like, oh, I know why they did that. It just it makes it that much cooler. That's why I love doing these books. Plus, it's good to read. Kids, please read. Learn to read. Read well. Read often. Makes you smarter. That's it. If you use the link... I get a percentage of whatever you spend, even if you don't buy that book, if you end up buying toilet paper and toilet cleaner, I don't know, something like that. I'll still get a couple bucks or a couple cents, depending on what you spend. So that's how that works, full disclosure. That's how I make money and support stuff like this on the channel. I take the Amazon money, I take the YouTube AdSense money, pour it back in so we can do cool toy videos like this all the time. And I do it with the help of you guys, with your guys' cool ideas like the Savage Press, 
again, if you have anything else you want to see, let me know because it's going to be cool Hot Wheels coming up next. I think I'm going to be doing a couple more action figures. Got a lot of Rogue One figures I never really got to that I realized. Got about 50 Micro Machines videos, 50 Hot Wheels, car ships and starships and everything. There's a lot of toys coming. And don't forget Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park. That's coming too. We're taking that on as well. It's not just Star Wars, baby. We're doing it all. So make sure you're notified. You're part of the Sad Baby Squad. You get a notification every time I drop a new video. Make sure you're subscribed, of course. Leave your thumbs up, your thumbs down, your comments. Follow me on, on the uh, Instagram and the Twitter. I'm starting to try to feature more of your guys' stuff. So I like having you part of the community. Take a look. Here's something right here. May the force be with you. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You know I love having you here. It's all possible with your ideas. This is how we end the video. And again, if you want to end the video, send me a clip either via email or send it to me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Tag me. I'll find a way to rip it. But we say, may the force have with you? Question mark like you're asking a question. And goodbye forever.